Hey, why do you have this electric fence here? We have to put this fence here to try to keep the black bears out. Does it, is it, does it work? It works, uh, it works most of the time, but if it's uh, dry, the weather's dry and all, and the bear's real hungry, he will go through it. How much honey do you lose to bears every year? Well, uh, we lose, I wouldn't know just exactly how much, but if, every time a bear breaks through, he'll tear down and destroy two or three or four hives, and I, we have had them to, to tear down as many as 30 and 40 at a time, one night. Okay, how do you uh, get the honey off of you? How do you use this smoker? Well, you use this smoker to control the bees. They can't stand the smoke, and you open the hive up and smoke them a little bit, and then they uh, won't jump on you and sting you, and you have to have the smoke to control them. And that's the reason we use the smoker, just to control the bees. How many hives do you have here? We have 50 hives in this apron. Just what are you doing with this? I'm putting a chemical, I'll call it Bego, on these uh, pads to make the bees go down out of the honey. Mm -hmm. So we can take it off without any bees in it. So this, this forces the bees out of the hive? This forces the bees down out of the super, down out of the ones that we're not going to take off. How long does it one. take for it to work? It takes about five minutes. Uh, if the sun's shining good and bright, it don't take that long. But uh, it's according to the sunshine. Sunshine makes it heat up and the fumes come off a lot faster and they go out a lot quicker. Prizing this super up so he can put it on the truck. Then you put this cloth right back on them to run them on out of that super. I can walk right on down out of this one. Buy good honey? Yeah. Uh-uh. We can't get that. Not now. It's not hot enough. Let's see now. Let's come run around. Stung? Yes, sir. Get stung every day. Are you used to it? Doesn't bother you anymore? No, sir. I'm not used to it. It bothers me right on. <laughs> of course, it, it uh, you do get uh, where it doesn't hurt quite as bad. But it hurts you every time. It does me. That's good. Want something? Want something? You gonna eat it with the with the bee on it? <laughs> no, you better brush him off. Okay. Thank you.
You see, that's kind of hard to prize off, but you have to have these high too. How much do they, How much they weigh? <laughs> that don't weigh 90 pounds. 90 pounds? Yes, sir. Now, what are you doing now? We're looking for the queen. How can you tell where the queen is? Well, we just have to find her, and uh, she's just anywhere in here somewhere, but she's in there somewhere. Why don't they sting you now since you're disrupting their hive? Well, because they're, the smoke what keeps them quiet or hypnotizes them or does something to them. Well, I really don't know, but it, you can't work them without smoke. Now, this is the brood. It's different than what you took off before. Oh, yeah. How yeah, is this, is, this is a uh, young bees before they hatched out in that in this uh, area right here, see, mm -hmm. it's sealed over and they'll eat out of that mm -hmm. when they get the right stage and they'll eat out and then they'll come out. And then uh, we inspect that every year to see if there's any disease in it. You found the queen? Found the put her on this thing, Herman. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now, what is there? This is the queen This here. is the queen right there. See the difference in the way she looks and the rest of them? Now, she does all the, all the she laying. She does all the laying. But she does...